Hi, today I'd like to share a cool Figma plugin that allows you to import data via JSON file and convert a dummy information in your design files to real information. This is Chetan and you're watching CSS Dev and UX. Let's get to it. So first you need to head over to the home page and search for JSON to Figma, which is the name of the plugin. Filter it through plugins and you'll see JSON to Figma. I've already installed it here. So now I have like two demos, one with only text and one with uh, an image and text. So let's start with the simpler one first. So here, if you see, uh, I just have a simple card which has uh, the joke, the tag and the category. So let's just try to copy this in make two more copies and try to use it how the plugin recommends us to use it. So one of the sample JSONs provided by the plugin was this short user list that has name, job and image. So we copy this URL, go back to our Figma, click on this plugin to trigger it. And from the copy uh, clipboard link, we paste it. There are two ways of doing it. One is through the clipboard link. The other way is through uh, imp importing from an existing local file. So we paste it and you get keys id name job image which corresponds to id name job image from the sample json now we'll first try to manually populate things so let's say i want uh, the name of the person to be replaced by this text layer so I can just select all the three text layers, click on name, say fill it by random order and populate selected. So as you can see, this works just fine. If I keep doing that, since it's in random order, it will keep giving me random results. Cool. So this is manual population, but uh, if I have a lot of uh, layers that I've repeated, I don't want to select each and everything and manually do it. So another thing can be to rename uh, all your layer to match with the key. So let me delete these thing again. And let's say this is called this layer is called a name, which corresponds to the name here. And this tag name is called job. And now let's repeat this entire thing four times. Let's select everything. And instead of manual population, I'll just say name and job. And I'll try to populate it and it will auto detect and change it everywhere. So you see is Martin, engineer, Garrick, research, Bernard, Bernardine, health, something. It's in two lines, so design is a mess here. But you get the point okay cool so that was a simple example using the manual technique and the automated technique let's let's go outside and step it up a notch so coming back to our original example of only jokes so from the internet i was able to find another sample uh, sample api for jokes this one which gives me a list of jokes. But here you see it starts with an object, it has some key values, then starts with the, the array. So if I try to directly copy this URL, it may not turn out, it may not read properly in the plugin. And let's try to see it. So I copied the URL and I pasted it. And as you can see, I don't have any keys to select because the plugin is expecting the first one to be the array or the object itself. So the plugin is expecting the data to start from line eight or line seven, which is why it's not able to read it properly. So then what you can do is simply copy this entire thing from line seven to line 168 and paste it in your local text editor. So once you paste it, you can save it as jokes.json. I've already done it. And then instead of, uh, you can press the reset button and instead of importing it from a link, you can import it from a file. So let's say jokes.json. And I have all the key values. So 
if i repeat this block and try to use it i'll need to first make sure that the layer name is matching the key name so let's try to do that before i repeat the content okay so i have one two three values that i want to import from the json so i have changed the layer names now i'll try to copy this multiple times Okay, now I'll select everything and category, type and joke and I'll do it in a random order and I'll populate it now. Cool, so everything just works. Let's try to move on and try with another example with an image. So again, from the internet, I was able to find a, a sample JSON that has a cocktail recipes for margarita so here i have like six again since uh, it doesn't start from the array it, it has an object then a name then the array of objects i copied this entire thing and created a cocktail.json and i saved it on my local back on figma again i can trigger that plugin i can open that figma file I can open that JSON file and I'll see all the keys. So what I'll do is I'll try to match before I repeat this uh, card. I'll try to match everything inside the card to be with the keys, key names here. So this is the image. So the image name is okay. I've already done that to save time. So as you can see, str drink thumbnail. Thumb matches str drink thumb here. Drink name is st. The layer name is str drink, which corresponds to the key name here, and so on and so forth for tags, category, and instructions. And now I using the auto method not the manual method and random order selected i'll select the image the drink name the tags category and instructions so from the json had a lot of uh, information in, in the form of key value pairs i only need these five pieces of information for my figma design file so having things selected i can just populate it and it worked fine except this one probably because it's not selected properly i'll retry it okay now it works sometimes there's a glitch but mostly it works fine so as you can see now you have all the information from the json that is being used to populate the information here pretty cool again you have the plugin offers you more information of uh, creating a range from your json that you want only want the data of the top two or top three you can do that you can add ex exclusions uh, using special symbols and you can choose not to have it in a random order but in the order that's mentioned in the json okay so this was the json to figma plugin really valuable really handy and i've only scratched the surface with two simple examples one with the text one the other one was the text and image we saw how we can import it via url or a local file i'm sure there is much more you can do with the plugin i hope it helps and if it helps you can if you have any questions about this plugin you can add on the comments if you found this video helpful please share it with your friends please leave a like so i know i can keep making such videos and subscribe to my channel for more videos on design and development thank you